today's video, I am going to solve the problem using Bessel's interpolation formula. So we have to find f of 25 from the given data. Given f of 20 value is given, 30 value is given, 40 value is given and 50 value is given. So for first of all, we have to frame this forward difference table. See here the forward difference table. The x values are here and the corresponding f of x values are noted here. So the first difference will be, so this will be, see here, this is 4, 3, 9, 3, 1. So we have to subtract the y2 minus y1 minus this is 5, 1, 2, 0, 3. The value here is minus 7272. See here, this value is minus 7272. And the next value here is 34563 minus this is 43931. So, from this value, we have to subtract this value. So, which is equal to minus 9368. So, this is minus 9368. And the next value here is, so we have to subtract the upper value from the lower value that is 24 this is 348 minus this is 34 this is 563 the value here is minus 10 this is 215 and the next second difference table here will be so this will be minus this is 9368 minus of minus plus so this value will be plus this is a 7272 the value here is minus 2096 and the next one here is minus 10215 minus 10215 minus of minus plus the value here is 9368 so this value is 9368 the value here will be in between we have to write minus 847 see here this is minus 847 minus of minus plus this is 2096 the value here is 1249 so after finishing this one so what we have to do so we have to find out the value of f of 25 here so here the x value here is nothing but 25 so i am showing this the x value x value here is 25 and the nearest value to 25 here is so it should be less than so here the nearest value here is 30 so this i am considering it as x naught so if it's x naught so it's a bisection bessel's formulae so we have to take two values at a time single value two times two values at a time and single value see double single double single whereas in the sterling's formulae single double single double so s for sterling so we have to take single value first next double values a single double so sterling single we have to start so whereas in the bessel's interpolation see here by so by means we have to take two values at a time and next single value double values and single values so i have opted this x naught as 30 so we have a formula here that is x is equal to this is x naught plus p into h what is this x value so x value is nothing but 25 x naught value is nothing but 30 so p h means the difference between these two 50 minus 40 the value here is 10 that is 25 minus 30 is equal to 10 into p so now if you see here this will be minus 5 plus by 10 is equal to p so we got the value of p as minus this is 0 0.5 so after getting the p value so we have to go with the sterling's bessel's formula here so what is this bessel's formula see i said you so many times that there is a logic in this how to remember this bessel's formula first of all so the logic here will be see according to the bessel's formula first we know that so which one so this is zero and this is one so we have to write in the decreasing order after zero the decreasing is minus one this is minus two and here one one after the value the decreasing value is zero and the next one is minus one so in between keep minus ones see here this is a uh, this is one of the way to remember the bessel's interpolation formulae so here so we have to take bisection values so double single double single and double so now how to write this and again we, we have to note this one so see here this is zero 
let me write so this is 0 this is 1 this is minus 1 this is 2 and this is minus 1 and in front keep half so this is an another logic to remember see here now I am going to write this formula. So how to write this formula? So yp will be so yp will be equal to first we have to take this one that is y0 plus y1 by 2. Got it? And the next value I have to take as so this one is half. First I am taking single value. See here I am opting for single value. Single value I am taking that is p minus half by 1 factorial into the next one. So, this is say first difference. So, this value is first difference. This is a second difference. This is third difference and these are the fourth difference values. So, for the first difference we have to take delta y minus 1. And the next one here I am closing this one. So, I am closing this half and I am taking these two values. See here this is p minus 0 into this is p minus 0 into p minus 1 by 2 factorial into now i have to take this these two values that is average values that is delta square y minus 1 plus again this is delta square y naught by 2 and the next one I again i have to choose these three values so i have closed for one time and again i'm choosing these three values that is half zero one single double and again triple see here this will be p minus half the value here p minus half this is p minus zero this is p minus one by three factorial in two after Second difference, we have to take the third difference. So, which will be delta cube y minus 1. And the next one, again, I am taking these four values. So, these four. So, I am leaving this one. I am taking these four values. So, 0, 1, minus 1, 2. So, this will be p minus 0. So, this is p minus 1. This is p plus 1. This is p minus 2 by 4 factorial in 2 into here the fourth difference will be delta power 4 this is y minus 2 plus this is delta power 4 this is y minus 1 divided by 2 so got it so this is so simple to understand first we have to take a single value next we have to leave and take two values and again we have to include this one three values and again we have to exclude and take four values so this is a the thing we have to remember instead of mugging up all these questions formally. So, next I am going to substitute here. So, what is our p value here? So, p value just now I found that it is minus 0 0.5. See here, I have shown you this value that is minus 0 0.5. So, now I am going to substitute all these values in the formulae. See here, this is y0 and this is y1 and this is delta y minus 1, this is delta square. This is delta square y minus 1, y naught. And this is the single value, the next delta cube value. Now I am going to substitute all these values. Now yp value is equal to y naught. So what is this y naught? 4, 3. See here, this is 4, 3, 9, 3, 1 plus. The next value here is 3, 4, 5, 6, 3. So this is 3, 4, 5, 6, 3 divided by 2 plus. What is our p value? p value is nothing but minus half and half value is nothing but minus half divided by sorry divided by 1 factorial into delta y minus 1. The next value is minus this is 9 3 6 8. So the value here is 9368 and coming to this p minus 0. So what is p here? Minus 0 0.5 minus 0 and the next one p minus 1 that is minus 0 0.5 minus 1 by 2 factorial into delta square. See here after single we have to take double values. These two values we have to take average that is minus 2096 and this one is minus 847 so this is 847 divided by 2 and the next value here so according to the formula here so we have to take this p minus half so what is our p here p is nothing but p is nothing but minus 0 0.5 and this value half is nothing but minus 0 0.5 and next what is our p value this is minus 0 0.5 and this value is nothing but minus 0 0.5 minus 1 by 
3 factorial is nothing but 6 into, see here, the single value, delta cube value, see here, the delta, uh, th third, third difference value is nothing but 1, 2, 4, 9. So, this is nothing but, this is 1, 2, this is 4, 9. Now, we have to substitute all these values. So, see here, this is 1 factorial and see, yp value will be, if I take average of this, so this will be 4, 3, 9, 3, 1 plus, this is 3, 4, this is 5, 6, 3 divided by 2. The value here is 3, 9, 2, 4, 7. And the next value here is, so here it is minus, if I take minus common, minus into minus plus, so the value here will be plus. And see, 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 which is plus it is 1 so this will be 1 into 9368 so this will be 9368 and the next value here is so here if I take common minus will come here also minus minus into minus plus and uh, again there is minus here so this will be in total it is minus so here this will be if I multiply this is 0 0.5 into this is 1.5 into the values here are this is this is 2096 plus 847 divided by here it is 2 into 2 divided by 4 the value here is 500 and see here 551 point this is 8125 and the next value here if you see if you observe this one here if I take minus minus into minus plus and again there is single minus so it is a negative sign 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 is 1 so if I multiply with 1 so here comes 0 into 1 into 0 0.5 into 1 plus this is 1.5 into this is 1249 divided by the value here 6 so this will be minus 156 point this is 125 so now the total value here is see here this will be this is 39247 plus this is 9368 minus 551 point this is 8125 minus 156 point this is 125 the value here is so f of x so yp value here is this is 47 90 907 point this is 0625 so approximately so y at 25 value we got as 47907 so this is how we have to solve this is how we have to remember this Bessel's formula and everything is easy if you follow this video see here so it is so simple after making this difference table so we have to take the nearest value to 25 that is 30 I have taken and we have uh, calculated the value of P and after that I have shown you how to write this puzzles formula. So so, this, so we have to 0 1 we have to take and the next decreasing order we have to take and write uh, like this. So if you follow this video definitely you can write Bessel's formula by your own. So first of all we have to take single value. Next we have to leave this value and have to take uh, two values. And next we have to rejoin this one and again we have to leave and take four more values. And like that you have to write. So if you don't understand please watch this video for one more time. Definitely you can understand. Thank you so much for watching and staying till the end. Please if you like you know what to do. Please raise your thumb, leave a comment below and share it with your friends.